आपने ही चेंज कराया मुझे कान खोल के सुन लो सत्य सुन लो आपने ही चेंज कराया यस अब मेरा मुंह मत खुलवाना you were very close to the uh, to the siblings rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi but what happened and you have a, a leader who is not only inspiring but is very committed to the cause of public service committed to the cause of the idea of india it's not the issue of a relationship souring it's the issue of an institution losing its moorings and that just shows you the bankruptcy of that government that let alone the fact that they could not hold on to their mlas they could not even hold on to their cabinet ministers because there were many promises that were made that were being uh, defied every single day that this government was in in government in, the, in madhya pradesh I thank the party for the uh, opportunities and the time that I got to serve through the party. Uh, I also thanked uh, from the bottom of my heart all the people that I served with. But it was time for me to move on. But you didn't take the plunge on your own. You you took people with you. You broke the party. You broke the government. The Operation Kamal was put into effect. I don't think there was a, there was any Operation Kamal or there was any operation at all. A new government came uh, into power. Right? Sure. but at that point of time when i decided that it's no longer going to work the way it is again people who are not necessarily only politically tied with me but there was an emotional bond decided mm. that they will also walk with me mm. uh and mind you uh and i'd like to make this very very clear in this conversation with you you have seen uh many cases in the history of politics of india where uh, smita prakash ji has gone from x to y and jyotiraditya sindhya has gone from y to sure. z uh but there are very few cases where this has happened within 15 months of a government being formed it's generally always the case that people move 4 months before an election or 6 months before an election uh 15 months after a government has been formed and that too after 15 years and those uh who left with me 25 of them six of them were cabinet ministers in that government and that just shows you the bankruptcy of that government that let alone the fact that they could not hold on to their mlas they could not even hold on to their cabinet ministers which also shows the persecution that probably went on within that government versus not only the public at large because there were many promises that were made that were being uh defied every single day that this government was in in government in, uh, in madhya pradesh but also people were being persecuted and therefore at some point of time people also decided to call it quits and all of them mind you went back to the people so hmm. the old system where i would move from x to y and nothing would happen to me doesn't stand good anymore because they had to i have to go back to the to the arena of the people and get elected again and out of uh we had 29 by elections of which 28 seats were with the congress so 28 seats lay with the congress party the congress party could retain only 9 of those seats of the people who could just walk in and chat with 
the gandhi family your name comes up right up there you were very close to the uh, to the siblings rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi but what happened where did where did the relationship See, sour uh, the, personal it's, and it's, political it's not the it's not the issue of a relationship souring it's the issue of an institution losing its moorings um every institution like every individual has to have certain mission values principles and goals every political party in india i believe certainly has its own but when an institution starts losing its way uh when an institution uh, loses track with the reality of india when an institution uh, no longer is able to mold itself so you have a, a group of vision values and models but then that constantly has to be molded along with what is happening in the environment when that happens then the process of decay sets in on the other hand you have a, a leader who is not only inspiring but is very committed to the cause of public service committed to the cause of the idea of india uh, uh is unflinching in his resolve uh to cleanse the system uh is very uh focused on uh delivery and execution uh changing the perception of india within india itself and externally and therefore there's a great uh, attraction and a magnetism that prime minister narendra modi in his persona exudes uh and then when you have this wide chasm between on the one hand an institution that's going in, unfortunately going into decay and is not willing to turn around and on the other hand you have a enigmatic personality then of course one is attracted towards that if your cause is public service